Hey AP Calculus, this is Mr. Ayton, and we're going to be going through the 2019 AP Calculus exam every single day. And so today we're going to take a look at number one. Now remember for number one and number two on the exams, you can use a calculator. And so let's get to this problem. This problem is talking about fish entering a lake and leaving a lake. And you can see the fish entering a lake at a rate is modeled by E of T. And what are they leaving? at a rate is L of t. Now keep in mind, you want to right away in your calculator, you want to press the menu button. After you press the menu button, you want to go to actions. After you go to actions, you want to go to define. And you want to define these two values. I define them. I like to always define it as x. I, I don't really like to use the t. It's just something that I usually use. And so I define the first one as e of x. I define the second one as, as l of x. Okay. Now keep in mind, what is the units of this? They're measured in fish per hour. So this is already the rate in fish per hour. So keep in mind, we could find the fish per hour squared. That was will be taking the derivative. Or we could just find the fish, which is taking the integral. And so here, let's take a look at A. A is asking for how many fish enter over a five hour period. So we're just taking a look at the amount of fish. And so we're going from 0 to 5 of the integral. And we're just looking at the entering. So you have to take e of x dx, or e of t dt. And we end up getting, to the nearest whole number, 153 fish. 153 fish. And so you get two points for this problem. One point for setting up the integral. One point for finding the number of fish. So we're going to do two points for a. And you have to write down what you did in your calculator. Even though, yes, you might have just got 153 fish by plugging it in, in your calculator. Um, you only get one out of two points for that. You have to justify it by showing how you set it up. So let's go to number two. Number two, we're taking a look at the average value, the average value of how many fish leave the lake. Okay, so we're using this L of T here. And we're going over the five hour period. So we're going from zero to five of this L of X or L of T DX. And we're, anytime we do an average, we do one over the subtraction of my limits, one over five in this case. And we end up getting about 6.059 fish. Now keep in mind, we're not going to round that to the nearest whole number because we're trying to find an average. We're not just trying to find six fish, we're trying to find the average. We get one point for setting up our average integral and one point for our answer as well. So we're going to go to two points for B. Let's take a look at C. C is asking, at what time is the greatest number of fish in the lake? So we are thinking about our first derivative test. Okay, That's where we're trying to find out our maximum. And remember, what did we do in the first derivative test? We always took one derivative, and then we set that equal to 0. Well, guess what? The e of t and the l of t is already my derivatives. So if you can see, if I take e of x or e of t minus your l of x or l of t and you subtract them because the entering minus the leaving that setting that equal to zero will end up giving you your maximum okay and so what do you want to do in your calculator you want to use that solve function solve this with respect to x right there and if you do this in your calculator, you'll see x will be equal to 6.2036 hours, which means that is where a possible critical number is. Now keep in mind, we also have to take into account 0, 6.2036, and 8. And you can graph it. You can do whatever you want in order to find out that this will be the absolute, the absolute maximum of this function. Now, uh, the AP exam gave students three points for this problem, but uh, let's just say this is going to be worth two points for us. Okay, So when you go to report your answers today, uh, you're going to use two points for this problem, and we'll just kind of stay consistent. You get one point for setting up your e 
e of t minus l of t equals zero and one point for your answer of 6.2036 hours. So we're just going to go two points. I know the AP exam for that year, uh, 2019, they gave three points for that, but we're just going to go two points if that's okay when you go to report it. Let's take a look at number 1D. Number 1D is the rate of change increasing or decreasing. Okay, the rate of change, is it increasing or decreasing? Well, what do we do if we're trying to find is the rate of change increasing or decreasing? We're really taking a look at the acceleration of this uh, of this rate of change. And so we're, I'm going to do e prime of 5 uh, in my calculator, and I get negative 6.8. If you want to remember how you do that is you go to menu, you go to menu, you go down to calculus, calculus, then you go to derivative, derivative at a point, and you're going to put in exactly 5 for your point, and we get negative 6.8. If I take a look how many fish, what's the rate at which the rate is leaving and we get end up getting 3.92 if you do e prime of 5 minus l prime of 5 you will see you get a negative number which means the rate is decreasing the rate is decreasing of the fish and so um, you get one point for considering one point for considering your e prime of 5 and your l prime of 5, and then one point for your explanation. So we're going to go an eight point problem for number one. You're going to just report in mystery.com your eight points. You get uh, two points for A, two points for B, two points for C, and lastly, two points for D. And that was the 2019 AP Calculus AB exam problem number one. Tune back in for problem number two tomorrow. See you guys. Bye.